Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Laurent. They have two different layers and a button that should switch them between one and the other. When they do it, it kind of does nothing, but they know the button's working. Uh, so without further ado, let's hop into it. I have three layers here. Layer one, sorry, layer zero, layer one, layer two. And inside of my code, I have all of this doing nothing right now. It's toggled off. And here's the first thing that most people try to do they have a button if it's layer 0 visible then set uh, layer 0 invisible set layer 1 visible and vice versa for the other one and if we run it we will see nothing happens when I click my left mouse button and that is because essentially this one runs switches layer 1 to visible and then when layer visible is checked it's already visible from this first one and it runs again and it breaks it so it doesn't break it, it just does both of them because that's what we told it to do. So we're going to disable that and we're going to hop down here. And this is probably the nicest way to do it. Um, but we're looking at the exact same thing, we just have an else. Which means if it doesn't meet this first requirement, it goes into here. If it did meet this first requirement, it doesn't go into here. And that'll do the exact same thing except stop it from doing both of them at the same time. And that throws us to layer 2 and back to layer 1. So we can switch between them as many times as we want. And we're going to take it one step further and with a different way. So I'm going to disable those again. We're going to hop in. Uh, let me see if I can grab all these and set them all ready. So my new code. Um, and this can be done with the other way. I just wanted to show a different way. But essentially we have a current layer global. And this is set to zero, because that's the layer I start on, layer zero, layer zero. And on left button click, we're going to add one to the layer. If that layer goes above two, because that is my max layer I have, so as I have more and more and more, I would edit this to go higher and higher. We're just going to set it back down to zero. And then after this is done, it'll set it to the next layer by setting the two I'm not working with invisible and the one I want to work with visible and we can see that here layer two layer three and back to layer one way um hopefully that helps you with your problem um if you have any questions concerns comments throw them down below i'll read them i'll get back to you otherwise have a great day